You closing me out too? Yeah. No. Are you gonna try the thing on your t TV to see if it works? Okay. Oh, can I have that? Hello, everyone. Hey, hey, hey. Okay, thank you, JLR, for letting me know. We will miss you today. Thanks. Hi, Florence. Irais. Hi, how are you? Vanny, Ashley, JMW, Sarah, Dorothy, Deborah. Hi, everyone. Thank you for being here with me today on this Saturday evening. I am so happy that you guys are here. How was your Saturday today? I spent a quiet Saturday. Um, not doing much of anything, but just relaxing and getting ready for this evening. I did a little bit of writing, but not too much. Hi, Milagros. How are you? And Aretha. Hey, how are you? Hi, Cassandra. How is everyone? What did you guys do today? How was your Saturday? Hey, Tanya. I'm happy that you made it today. Awesome. Yay. Hi, Wanda. Tohona. Hello. How are you? I'm so glad that you guys are here. Hi, TJ Balloons. How are you? D Garcia from Corpus Christi. Hi. A Royal Dianem. Hello. How is everyone? What did we do today on Saturday? It was very toasty here in Georgia today. And um, similar to last week, I had to go outside to my car to get something and I had to run right back inside. It was too hot. The sun was blazing hot today um, where I am. Hi, Felicia. How are you? Thank you for being here. Quiet and relaxing. Yes, that's the kind of day for me it was today as well. Excuse me for sniffling. My students are back. We just finished our second week of school and the students are already back with, you know, the sneezing and the coughing. I don't know much, <clears throat> excuse me, if it's as much a virus or a cold or if it's just allergies. Some of them have allergies or if it's going from the cold building to the warm outside when we go for recess and from recess back into the cold it could be that but i find myself sniffling right along with them so excuse me if i have a little bit of the sniffles today but i'm not really feeling ill it's just i don't know whether it's a cold or it's just the temperatures back and forth hey girl do some shopping for me at, at hobby lobby you let us know when you come back, if you make it, or in the comment section below, once it has posted what you were able to find. I haven't been to Hobby Lobby for about three, four weeks, I would say, between three to four weeks. Um, and so I'm curious to see what they have on sale. I know they've put out their Christmas stuff already. I don't know if that Christmas stuff has gone on sale yet. Um, possibly even what's in the clearance. So Cassandra, you be sure to let us know in the comments um, whenever you can at, at your earliest convenience. We, the shoppers, would like to know. Let's see. Hi, Aurora. Thank you for being here. Happy weekend. Tahona, you spend the day watching YouTube. Oh, Tanya, you're going to Jamaica. Girl, enjoy it. Last year, Christmas, um, my best friend Valerie and our two daughters, we went for the Christmas holiday and we just love, love, loved it. I tried to um, go live a few times there, but the Wi-Fi signal was not as strong as I would have liked it to be. Um, but we had a wonderful time and I cannot wait to go back. Enjoy your trip and be safe. Hi, Lori. Hi, Angela. Thank you guys for being here. Sensari, hello, thank you for joining us today. I am so happy that you guys are here on this wonderful Saturday afternoon. Today, we are going to be making a vanity stand, if you like, um, a jewelry stand. I had this idea for quite some time and just did not put it into um to start the project, if I could say, created a fairy piece. So I'm going to be using some, or not some, three to be exact, of these canvas art pieces that we are going to embellish in mirrored style. 
and gluing them together kitty corner of each other and then we're going to be placing these on top of a mirror and on top of a lazy season so you'll be able to get full use 360 degrees of your vanity so i am surely surely excited to be creating this piece for you guys today tahona says it's raining in north charleston wow i hope that cools things down a little bit it, it's really hot and muggy or it might make things worse because you might get that humidity after the rain has fallen so it's hot and then it's humid and there is no fun in that whatsoever you're just getting my voice you said dawn can we confirm that i can see myself through my device so let me know okay you can see me okay perfect perfect i just wanted to make sure so like i said we're going to be making a mirror vanity today and for this project you're going to need three of these wood canvas pieces from which we're going to be sourcing the wood underneath by taking off the canvas pieces now i think in the last show or one of the last shows that i did i mentioned that for you crafters, if you are a crafter that likes to have things around so that if an idea hits you, you can pop up immediately and get to working, I would suggest having some of these on hand because what I like most about these pieces is the fact that the wood is very, very sturdy. Of course, it is pressed wood, um, like you would say, um, pressed wood I think that's the terminology that I'm looking for but it is sturdy I mean I, I don't know how else to explain other than to say that it is very strong very solid wood and so I would suggest keeping some of these around so you're gonna need three of these um, this of course is with the canvas already taken off you are going to need an 8 inch I want to say lazy Susan but I'll measure it just so you know Yep, eight inch because I keep things around. I buy things and I put down for that same reason. In case I have an idea, I can just pop up and go make it. So you will need your eight inch Lazy Susan. You will also need a mirror. And this one, I believe, is 10 inches. So I will measure it for you to see. Exactly, 10 inch in diameter mirror. You will need one of these packs of plastic chopping mats from the dollar store where you get two chopping mats today um, in the package however today um, you're only going to need one of those mats because from one mat you can cut out the three parts that you are going to need you will need some of this studded gem ribbon I get mine from amazon.com and I will place the link below you can also get this from michael's you can also get it from the hobby lobby however it is not going to be this long and so if you want the longer version you're going to have to get the longer version from your amazon you will need thank you don hi beverly how are you and Lori, st helen michigan Ooh, baby shower decorations. Awesome. Happy crafting, Lori. Happy, happy crafting. Thank you, Tahona, for letting me know. Hi, Gislaine. I am happy that you love my projects and my show. Thank you so very much for being here. You're working on, ooh, class reunion decorations while watching. See, so my crafters, we're crafting together. It's a crafting live. <laughs> So additionally, you will need some silver paint so that you can paint your wooden pieces. You will need some mirror tile. I go crazy for this mirror tile and I can't wait until I get the purple one and the rose gold one. Those are coming and you will need a light source. Now, I am betwixt and between two minds. I don't know if I want to use the warm white fairy lights, right? Or I found these when I went on a craft crawl with our friend, um, Axe 238, Ray. 
I went on a craft crawl with him and I got this um, colored fairy lights, which I was so excited when I saw this at, was it the Christmas shop? I can't believe. I don't know, maybe if he joins us tonight, he'll be able to let me know. So I don't know if I wanna use a white light for my vanity, warm light, if I wanna use a bright white, or if I want to use the colorful light, but we will be trying both of them tonight. And of course, you will need your tools. So you'll need your paintbrush, you will need a scissors, brand new scissors. I love scissors, I'm so happy when I get to use a brand new one. Don't call me weird, it, 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 it just is what it is. <laughs> you will need a cutting a blade, a razor blade, of course. You will need your hot glue gun. And uh, I think that's it, yeah. So these are the things that you're gonna be needing tonight if you're crafting with me. If you're not crafting with me, because I know I did not put out the video telling you what you'd need, but whenever you do go to recreate this, you will need these things. Additionally, and I'm kind of bummed, I honestly thought that this um, picture hanging kit that I got from the dollar store was silver. I don't know why I thought it was silver, but if you are going to recreate this, because what these panels are going to become is a place to hold your chains or your necklaces, and so you will need some hooks, and I know this kit came with hooks, but I thought that everything that came in it was silver, and they're not. So possibly tomorrow or Monday after work, I'll have to go to the Dollar Tree, see if there is a silver one. If not, I'll run to Lowe's, find some silver ones, and finish my piece so I can make it functional. In addition, before I look at the comments, because I see they're coming in, in addition to all of that tonight, what I am going to do, because I know I have not done it in a long time, I am going to be raffling what we make tonight, not the piece itself, but the pieces. I'm gonna put all the parts together for you in a box and I'm gonna mail it to you. It is going to be a member raffle. And so if you are not a member of the channel, for $5, you can become a paying member and that will entitle you to member-only messages, member-only videos, they have finally figured out how to do that. Member only posts and now member only raffles. So think about that as we craft tonight and know that I'm going to be raffling the kit that we're making tonight to create this piece. And so before we get started, hi Katrina, I'm gonna check out the comments to see who came in while we were working. Hi Shebra, I am fine. Shebra, Shebra, let me know if I pronounced your name correctly. I'm so sorry if I did not. Hi Yolanda from Australia. Uh, it just makes my heart happy when I see just how international we are. It really and truly makes my heart smile. Thank you for checking in Yolanda. Since sorry, I can't find anywhere. I will, when the video is finished, I will place all of the links below the player, all of the supplies that I use. So if you are interested in purchasing it from Amazon, you will be able to do so. I can't find them here. I know Lowe's has one, but it's a, a metal, it's not very, not very aesthetically pleasing, and so, I really won't want to use that, so I get mine from Amazon, and I will be sure to place the link down in the description box below. Let's see. Yes. <laughs> she is plugged in, and you know why she's plugged in, Dawn? You remember from last week, because I was kind of, I don't know what happened, guys. Last week, I was kind of flustered. I, I really don't know what happened. Maybe it's just that I was tired, like I said, from starting the school year, and there was just lots going on, and... I wanted to be with you guys, but my mind was just firing in all sorts of other directions, just anticipating my students and lesson plans and all of that stuff. So yes, Big Blue is plugged in. Our new glue gun is still downstairs. I was working on some other projects downstairs. Um, Beverly, I will place that link below as well. I get mine from Amazon. Um, I placed them in the description box below on last week's live video. So if you you know can't wait until I post them later, you can go back to that video and you can find them there. 
Hi, Evelyn. Hi, Alex Milano from Orlando. I'm happy that you are here. Yes, we are indeed a melting pot. So we are going to get started. Now, of course, the first thing you are going to do to start this project is prepare your um, wooden piece. And to do this, you are going to remove the canvas off of your wooden pieces by taking, okay, here we go. I know I had her because I used her earlier. By taking your wire cutter and going in and lifting and rolling back on this canvas. Sometimes it is very easy to get these staples out. Other times, because this wood, even though it is pressed wood, I keep singing its praises, it is solid, and sometimes it is difficult for those staples to come out. If you can easily get them out, patience, by all means, go right ahead, pull them out. If, however, you cannot, I will say to you, don't worry about it, because this part where the staples are in, which is the back here, is going to become the back of our project anyway, which is gonna be facing inside, and so you won't be able to see those staples anyway. So you're gonna remove your canvas by popping out your staples, and then when you're finished doing that, you will have something that looks like this, okay? So I'm gonna set this on the side, and then once we have done that, we are going to take our silver paint and we are going to start painting while I chat with you guys for a few moments. Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry, Beverly. Please accept my condolences, wow. This um, week I had a conversation uh, with my students and it was a writing lesson. And I explained to them, I was giving them a strategy of how to come up with ideas with which to write. And I told them one strategy you can use is to think about a first time, right? First time something happened to you, a last time something happened to you and um, the first time you realize something and they didn't quite understand what I was saying and so just immediately it, it brought it all right back to me and I, I shared with them the story of the last time um, I saw my grandmother and the last time I held her hand and my baby such a sweet sweet class this year they listened so attentively and you know and they were like you know, one of them said, well, Miss Walker, if that was your last time, then, you know, is your granny okay? And I was like, no, it really was the last time. And, you know, she's no longer here with us. And so they gave me condolences and some of them shared their stories. And, you know, we had a growing moment together, a learning from each other moment. And so it, it brought it right back to me. So Dawn, I say all of this to say that, not Dawn, I'm sorry, Beverly, Please accept my condolences because I'm right there with you still. Uh, let's see. Yes, I, I hear you. I know. So here we are, and I'm not trying to be callous. I'm, I just have to shift my brain because it's coming back and I don't want to be there. So what we're doing is taking our silver paint and we're going to paint the side of the sides of our wooden piece. And the reason why we're doing this is because the studded ribbon that we are going to use to lay it down on the sides of our piece is backed on a plastic, a, a piece of plastic, and the studs are not on there solidly. So what I'm saying is, if you were to look through this, and I'm quite sure if my camera was a little bit more powerful, you could see right through it. I don't know if you can see my finger on the other side. And so this is why I opted to paint the side silver so that when we lay our silver sparkles down, we will not see the naked wood underneath. And so while that dries, I can safely go ahead in and paint the top and then once we have painted the top 
we will be able to move on while the top and the sides dry by placing on our mirrored tile. And that's why I love our community. Love, love, love you guys. You guys are awesome. I, you know, I say it all the time. Not only do you, are you guys here to encourage, you know, you encourage me, not that you're here to encourage me, but we also take care of each other as a family. And that, again, is just such a blessing, such a blessing to me. And I appreciate each and every one of you. So while we wait for those two sides to dry, what we are going to do now is lay our mirror tile. Nope. Let's do this part first. And I probably should have done this part before I started painting. But I'm going to show you how I'm thinking about where I could put it so that the paint does not um, get on anything else. I'm going to show you how we are going to size, and I could probably do that with another one of those wooden pieces. We are going to size what is going to become the back of our panel using the cutting board that comes in a pack of two. And to do this, Forgive me, I'm looking for the one that I had. And I know I put it down somewhere, but I can't find it. That is the weirdest thing. Here it is. To do this, I'm gonna show you on one that we have not already taken the canvas off. And all I'm doing simply is putting it into position, right? Now you can do this one of two ways. And the last time I did this on the video where I made our fairy piece, I went in and I traced around it with a pen or a pencil, I can't remember, and then I cut it out using a scissor. So that's one way. If you also want to, you can come in by just putting it into place and take your razor, press down and trace out or score out the part that you need. And if your razor is sharp enough, of course you'll be able to get this on one pass. If not, probably you will have to go over it one or two or three times like I'm doing now. but that should get it, right? So we have our length. And then of course, to get our width, we just simply do the same thing. Find your measurement, press down, and with your razor, score it a few times. and then you can pop it out. This reminds me, when I was a little girl, I used to play with um, paper dolls. And I remember my grandmother buying me my first one. And we used to have a grand old time popping out the little paper clothes, putting them on the dollies. Wait a minute, I think I just might have aged myself. <laughs> by putting it on the dollies and then taking them off to put on another outfit. So this reminds me, of course, minus the blade, of doing that and spending that quality time with my grandmother. So here you have one panel, right? Hi, Alexandra, how are you, sweet girl? Thank you for spending some time with me today. Here you have one panel, and what I was saying earlier is that if you're recreating this, or if you're going to reuse this technique of using your wooden pieces to make panels, you can get three panels out of one sheet. 
out of one package, six panels. So this is going to go a long way if you are working on this project or if you are working on a similar project using this technique. So once you have done that, it will then be a matter of taking your hot glue gun, right? And gluing this down on the back of your piece. So before we do that, I am going to finish painting my side. Okay. And just to make this go a little faster, instead, instead of dough, excuse me guys, okay, instead of, you know, dipping the brush in the paint, I tend to pour the paint out and spread it. To me, that works faster. Um, sometimes it might not necessarily be cleaner <laughs> because sometimes I spill, but at the same time it beats. That's my little doggy. When the doorbell rings, he goes partially berserk. And then it's the funniest thing because he thinks somebody is coming to him. <laughs> so he goes to the door and then he greets them. I'm like, so then what's all of the noise about in the first place, you know? So yes. So just going in and painting your sides so that when we put down our studded mirror, excuse me, our studded ribbon, we won't be seeing the naked wood underneath. Ah, oh, Dawn. <laughs> yes, I'm showing my age. I'm telling my age. It is hilarious. But yes, I used to love me some paper dolls. I used to love me some paper dolls. So yes. And now once we finish with this, ideally, you would leave this or set this to dry for a few moments, but in the essence of time and because I am on video, I'm going to move right into the next step. And let me say this, you will have to paint all three of the panels that you are using. And of course, in the essence of time, I went in prior to the video and I already created my two other panels so that you guys didn't have to sit and watch me do that. Okay, so here we are with our paint. <laughs> yes, I we age ourselves. And now, again, also in the essence of time, I went ahead and I cut the mirror tile in the measurements that I needed. And we are now going to put these down. Thank you, baby. Is there nothing cold in there? It shouldn't stop, but the bag is really hot. Huh? The meat? All right. So once you've... <laughs> My daughter is giving me a face. <laughs> She's lucky that I'm sitting here live on TV <laughs> so yes okay now we're gonna take our mirror tile and lay it into place now if you notice the mirror tile has an adhesive back but I like to when I know I'm making a piece that I'm going to use, I'm going to keep for myself, I like to peel off the adhesive back and then lay hot glue underneath just to ensure that this piece is going to be sturdy. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna work my way into a corner because I can't turn this over to get to the other side. I know what I can do while we wait for this to dry. <laughs> we're now going to take our panel and we are going to cover 
the back, right, of our panel like so, using our hot glue gun. Now, just for preference sake, this cutting board has two sides. A textured side, which you can hear, right? And a smooth side, which you cannot. I like to put the textured side facing out. And the reason why I like that, to place it down textured side out, is so that it will diffuse the light that much more once we put our light source down in between our three panels and help to give that light a more blurred or softer effect, if you will, rather than having the light just be harsh and, and bright. I mean, I don't know if I'm making sense, but I prefer placing the textured side facing out. So once you have found or decided how you're going to place your plastic mat, you're going to move very quickly and using your hot glue on high heat, hot glue gun on high heat, you are going to place your panel down corner to corner, side to side, find your placement, and then press it into place. And then just in case you have any excess, it is an easy fix with going in with your razor and cutting off any excess piece that there is. Any excess piece that there is. See how easy that is? Okay. Hi, Tanya. Thank you, Tanya, for visiting all the way from Norway. Yay! And thank you for spending some time, 1.30 in the morning. I appreciate you. Thank you so much for the warm words. I'm happy that you guys can get some of the things here, um, some bling bling. Um, I was chatting with another subscriber um, who shared with me that, and I can't remember where she's from. I'm trying to think. She was international and she was explaining to me that it is very difficult to find the supplies that we use here. Um, and so she was just wondering, you know, about the substitution and um, how to go about substituting things. And so I'm happy that you are able to find some of the things, Tanya. Hey, hey, Evelyn, how are you? Thank you for being here. I am so happy that you are here. All right. So I know that you guys can't see. Well, yeah, you can because it's translucent. But I'm going in with some more glue. And I'm just going to continue this process until all of our silver. And I just messed up. But we got to do it like this. Otherwise, I would have wasted my hot glue. I forgot to take off the adhesive backing on this one. But if I had stopped to do so, then I would have lost that glue and I would have had to pick it up and ain't nobody got time for that. So the hot glue is going to hold it down. And so our sides are covered, okay? And now we're going to go in with our top and our bottom and then the front facing sides. Hi, Tara Lynn, how are you? Thank you for being here with us today. We are glad that you are here. Oh, Cassandra, if you are still here, I did exactly what I said I was going to do, and I made our WB W, why by, W, C, Y, D, I, Y, if I remembered all the letters properly. 
Um, I did go in and I made that t-shirt. And so for your awesome idea and sharing that idea with me, if you like, please go to dannysdarlings at gmail.com. Send me your mailing address and I will be sure to get one of those t-shirts in the mail for you. I made a t-shirt. Um, I have mine ordered um, and I will be wearing mine next week. So those of you who are interested in seeing what that t-shirt looks like, please be sure to tune in next week when we go live so that you'll be able to see that t-shirt and Cassandra I will definitely like I said if you like get one of those out to you in the mail Evelyn we are making a vanity a jewelry vanity a mirrored lighted vanity upon which we can hang our necklaces and put down our jewelry pieces on our bathroom counter thank you for asking all right so now I'm going in on the side face and I'm making sure that I'm placing the mirror flush with what is going to be the bottom of our piece if you get some excess on the top, that's not a problem because I'm going to show you how we're going to close that in as well. But for sure, you, you want the bottom to be flush because you need this piece to be able to stand up. Hi Tara, a mirrored vanity piece to hold your jewelry and your necklaces. It is going to rotate 360 degrees because we are putting it on a Lazy Susan. And the base of it is going to be a 10 inch mirror to give us that bling all the way around. And we're going to start to build in a few moments. I'm just showing everyone how to make our panel okay. and here you can see I have a little bit of excess with this one set of mirrors and I'm gonna cut them off and then lastly I'm going to go in with the top and the bottom piece <laughs> hi Mia glad that you're back thank you Tara Um, where are you? Um, and I, I ask that because it might be the problem that you're having. The E6000 does not work in warmer climates because it is prone to humidity getting, um, in between it is porous. And so the humidity will sometimes affect how that E6000 bonds with whatever it is you're gluing it to or you're trying to glue together. That is why for some time, and I haven't used it in a long time, but for some time I was using um, a two-part epoxy for that very same purpose. Um, where I am, it is a little humid and it can get a little humid at times. And I had a few of my pieces um, that I created for an event, not necessarily right away, but having them sit in my storage for a while, some of those pieces that I had glued using that E6000 had come apart um, because it just sat there in the heat and in the humidity. And so, like I said, after a while when I learned that the hard way, I moved to a two-part epoxy and that seemed to have solved my problems because the two-part epoxy does not give way to humidity. And so, like I said, depend, there you go, see? Baton Rouge, Luigi. So humidity, um, you're right there off of um, the Gulf, a lot of water, a lot of humidity in the air, that will cause it. That's exactly what, what's happening. And so, 
I would suggest using a two-part epoxy. Um, not that I'm advertising, but just sharing. I have used um, the Gorilla Glue two-part epoxy, and I have also used, I think the name of it is JR. Let me see here. Yeah, I have the Gorilla Glue one, and then there's another brand, excuse me, that I use that I like. I can't remember the name of it, but if I see it, um, definitely I will know which one. So what I can do is when this video is finished, I can place that in the link below as well so that you know you can refer to it in the description box below and you'll be able to see it and then you can make a decision with the gorilla glue or the other brand that i use which one you would want to go with but based on where you are i would say definitely use a two-part epoxy um and not necessarily the e6000 because that problem that you're having is going to definitely continue because of where you are i hope that helps all right so here we have our piece, and this is what it looks like. All done and decked out. And then the last thing that we have to do to prepare this is take our studded ribbon, now that our paint has dried, you can see, okay? Take our studded ribbon and glue it on so we can get this party started. <laughs> All right, so here we go. Now, typically, I would say to you to use a tepid warm, not a high heat glue for this, right? But one way around it, if you only have a high heat glue gun, is to place your studded ribbon down into your hot glue or place your hot glue down first rather stretch your ribbon right and hold it down as you go because what this will do is allow that plastic to literally melt into that glue into that wood and the reason why I like this studded ribbon we call it a ribbon even though it's backed up on plastic is because you can stretch it just a little not too much tension to rip it because that would happen but you can stretch it so let's say for example if this is slated as 12 inches you could probably get a good what 15 inches out of it let's say 14 and a half by just gently stretching it as you pull it put it down okay so i'm taking my ribbon i'm allowing that glue to cool just a tad and then I'm using my thumb to apply some pressure, stretching that ribbon, and putting it into place. I'm surprised Mama Cassandra isn't asking me where my <laughs> silicone fingers are, but they're right here, I promise you. <laughs> yes, thank you, Tara Lynn. JB Weld, that's the other um, two-part epoxy that I use. Thank you so much, Tara Lynn. I appreciate you. Yes, it was not just you, and I'm so sorry that you were thinking that, and I wish that, you know, you had asked me before, but if you ever have a question, um, please feel free, send me a comment, um, place a comment under any of the videos, you know, if you're watching any of my videos and a question comes up on that video, or if you would like to communicate with me directly, place or send me an email to dannysdarlings at gmail.com. Okay, so you can see that I'm pulling. And there is a method to my madness because one of the other paints that I use, I ran out with about three inches, needing three inches more of my studded ribbon. So I'm trying to see if I can stretch this to get that extra three inches that I need. And you can see without stretching, that is going to come exactly to where I need it to be. But I'm about to stretch this bad boy because I need three more inches to finish this one. 
you can see right there and if not I will just go in later after the video has ended and finished it because I have some more of this ribbon in my secret stash I just didn't want to have to open a new pack just to get three inches okay so I'm stretching and I'm planting, stretching, and planting, stretching, and planting. And like I said, because we painted our wood silver, you do not see the wood underneath. I keep forgetting, it's backwards on the camera. Hey, hi Ella, how are you? Mia, went to Dollar Tree, the candle holder. 30 days, yikes. Yay, Evelyn, I'm so happy. 30 days for the candle holders. Did you try another um, Dollar Tree, Mia? Because I have learned over my years and years of crafting um, is that if one Dollar Tree does not have it, I go to another town and look to see at another Dollar Tree to see if they have it. So maybe you might want to drive around um, to see if you can find it because 30 days is a long time. Were you looking for them because you needed it for something you were creating um, right away? Yikes, 30 days. Okay. I may get that three inches after all. Okay. I may get that three inches after all. I'm excited. And then, of course, once you're laying that hot glue... Go bit by bit because you don't want that glue to dry on you. Yes, it is, Dawn. It really is. It really, truly is. All right, let's see if we can get the three inches that we need. Got a little piece. I don't know if I could stretch this piece that I got. New scissors, yay. Okay, but yay. So we have our third panel. And this is gonna be so pretty once we put it together with the light shining through our diffuse panel. I am so excited. So I'm just gonna place this down and then I'm gonna have to go in my secret stash and pull out another one just to get two inches out of it, which is fine. Awesome. How did you connect it? That is very cool, Wanda, isn't it? Very creative. How did you connect it um, to keep it on your waist, if you don't mind me asking? Evelyn? All right. So, yeah, I'll have to get some more, but I will do that definitely. And see, I just need an inch and a half to fit right there. Hi, Annette. How are you? Thank you for joining us. You <laughs> wish you had my room. Why? Why? Do pray tell. I am curious. I just spotted a glue drop, like a dew drop, glue drop. And I'm trying to cut it off. Being careful. Not to injure myself. 
and I'll do that off camera so I don't waste you guys time. So here are our three panels that we are now going to glue together into a triangle. Now, if you remember when we created the fairy piece, we went in with our gemstones. I'm not going to do that because I don't want for the um, gemstones to take away from the studded ribbon that we just laid down. So all I'm doing here is taking my hot glue gun and piping in between these two panels and now I'm gonna squeeze these together. Trying to get the perfect angle. Yep, perfect. You glue the snaps onto each end. Look at you, that is so ingenious. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Katrina, I'll be putting the link below um, as soon as the video is replayable. And so if you like, you can use my link and definitely get your studded ribbon and your mirror tiles using my link. Doing so, of course, helps the channel. And I meant to say, those of you who were here with me last week I mentioned about my affiliate link and told you guys that you know ordering your things from my affiliate link of course no cost to you helps the channel but when I said that I meant and not only meant just your crafting stuff like anything anything at all that you order from Amazon please be sure to use my affiliate link and again like I said without any cost to you that helps the channel helps to put um, funds back in my hand so that I can bring you guys new and awesome projects okay now here is where it gets tricky and here is where I wished I had a mini glue gun one of the minis, which I don't have, and I wish I had one now, okay? So I just put my glue gun in the middle, and I glued as fast as, as far down as this one could go, and I'm holding it in place so that that stream of glue that I just put in there will hold, or dry rather, excuse me. And then once that has set up, I'm going to go around on each end, and go in as far as I can with my glue gun and allow that glue to set and then this will connect all three of our frames. Um, that is a good idea, but I will tell you this, because we're using Dollar Tree products, you know, we say and they say that it's, a, it's canvas it is not really a canvas. Hold on one second. Let me get it out of the garbage so you can see. Um, and thank you for your concern. It is literally a piece of plastic. I know canvas uh, because my grandmother used to paint and I know how expensive canvas is, but this is not canvas. This is a, a piece of plastic. You know, if you can get the whole, the wood and the, the canvas, for a dollar, you know that it is not, you know, canvas that you can paint on. And so I understand what you're saying, but not to worry. Uh, it is no waste, truly, truly, truly no waste. But thank you for sharing, Tanya. I appreciate your concern. I really do. All right. So here we go on the other side. And this is when I wish I had another pair of hands to help but if you guys see how I just MacGyvered that <laughs> I used one of another one of the frames 
chucked it up and I'm holding it with my elbow while I hold on to the other corner while it dries. Awesome! Colored one, the tiles, the mirror tiles. Awesome, awesome. I am glad, I am sure you did, Evelyn. That was an awesome idea. Thank you, Sensari. Mia, I'm waiting to hear. Is it the mirror tile you're talking about? Let me know. I'm curious to know. So I'm just holding and waiting for this glue to dry, trying to see if I could get further down than I did on the other side. And now I know that I must invest in a mini hot glue gun. I am fine, thank you, Angela. Thank you so much for being with us here today. How did you spend your Saturday? Excuse me, we are curious to find out. Thank you, Cassandra. Did you hear when I talked about the t-shirt? Let me know if you're interested because I went ahead and I got it made. All right, so that's one corner. Still waiting for it, or one end, still waiting for it to dry. Now I'm going to go in on the other end. Wait for that to dry. Oops. And hold it into place. so that it sets. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna try to see okay. if my MacGyver trick is gonna work on this side, and it is. And we're just waiting for that glue to set before I pick this up and lift it up and put it to stand up because I would not want the glue to drip down. I would, well, you're right, I could do it on this side. I wouldn't want it to, oh, okay, we definitely have to fix that, okay. So I see where some excess glue, I have to fix that. But this is what it looks like. This is the bottom, this is the top. And just like I did in the fairy video, you can see that it is being held together and that glue is still setting into place, okay? So it is secure. The only thing that I can see now, and I will fix it off camera. Let me find a panel. I don't know if you can see there. Is it that panel? This one? Where a little bit of the glue splayed. So I'm going to have to clean that up off camera. But other than that, the other panels are clean. I am excited. I am excited. Yay. Now, can you guys imagine a light down in here by the time we are finished, what this is going to look like? This is going to be awesome sauce. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Okay? Alrighty. So, now. Now that we have done that, we're going to set this on the side to dry. And then we are going to get our mirror. And I use this mirror for another project. So there are some remnants of hot glue on it. I 
my son saw me right now. He would fuss at me. Mom, don't cut towards yourself. It's not safe. Okay. And I'm going to glue this down to our... Thank you, Ashley. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, it's really, it's, it's beautiful. And I say, you know, we talk so much about the camera making things look pretty, but really and truly the camera does not do it justice. And you would have to see this in person, but yes, it does pick it up beautifully. Okay. So just a, a hint of what it's going to look like once you place it on your mirror and then you'll have the use of it 360 degrees. You could put your, you know, jewelry, your chains, which was my original idea, but I had gold hooks as opposed to silver, but we'll figure it out. Okay, so here's your Lazy Susan. This is an eight inch Lazy Susan, okay? That I'm going to glue my mirror down to, 10 inch mirror. I should probably do it this way so that I can make sure that it is centered. You, can, you guys can see that. And all I'm going to do to set this down is use the felt pieces, of course, that I've already taken off, but use the felt pieces as clues to where I can place my hot glue. And if you're making this as a permanent piece, I would suggest going in if you are not in a too humid place with your E6000, or if you are using a two-part epoxy to glue this down to your mirror. That way it's permanent no <laughs> thank you hey twinkie how are you thank you for joining us today I'm so glad that you are here okay once you found your placement pressing it down and setting it to dry now initially i had thought about placing some bling around the edges but when i looked to see how this was made this is made in two halves so there are two halves here the camera won't be able to pick it up, but you can hear me running my nail. That catch right there is where it's joined one to the other. And so if you place bling or any ribbon around here, you will use the ability to spin your piece, okay? So there you go. We have use of our piece. I'm going to clean the glass before I glue our piece down. And then we are going to build our piece, put our piece together. All right. So now that we have cleaned our piece, and I thank you guys for hanging with me. We are going on time, but we are over our hour. So those of you who are still here, please know that your company is appreciated. I don't have my vinegar cleaner up here, so I'm using glass cleaner. But glass cleaner can be so fickle at times. Sometimes it, it works, and then if you keep going over it, then you get streaks, and then you just have to keep adding more, and then... Right, okay? So she's clean. And now we're going to take our panels and we are going to find our placement. This is what it's gonna look like. I'm trying to center it. I think that's it. I'm trying to center it. And what I'm doing, just to mark it a little bit, 
I'm putting some hot glue going across the mirror so I can know exactly where to set it once I've placed my glue. Okay. All right. Once we have done that, you can see where I marked it right there. I'm going to use my hot glue, copious amounts of it on the bottom that we did not paint. If you notice, we did not paint our bottoms, nor did we put any bling. And working quickly, I'm going to place it right back where I marked. Find my placement. And then apply some pressure. And see? Yay! This is so nice. I really like how the way this turned out. I'm gonna have to clean another piece of glue splotch that I find I found. But this is what it's going to look like. And now to try our lights. And I'm sorry that you can't see me. <laughs> You're looking at my torso, but I, I wanna stand so I can place the lights. We are going to decide whether, let me sit back down for a minute. We're gonna decide whether we want to use a warm white light, so you guys can tell me, or whether we wanna use the color lights, or, which I don't have any on me right now, but, or if you think the bright white lights, would be better in it which i think i'm kind of partial to the bright white light since we're working with bling but we'll see but just taking your light feeding it down in there turning it on and of course if you want more light, I took two out. The second one is there. So if you wanted to try it to see what it looks like with two. But this is what it looks like with one. I'm sorry, let's see here. Say sorry, let me tell you why. Because I grew up with a father. <laughs> there was a place for everything, like you said. There's a place for everything, and everything should be in its place. And if it's not, Houston, we have a problem. So yes, but thank you for noticing that. I appreciate you. Okay, so here is the warm light. The bright white lights, I was thinking the same thing too. Um, so we're going to try the colored lights. Uh, let's say it's that Lazy Susan you bought it from the Dollar Tree. No, this Lazy Susan I, I got from Amazon.com. It's the 8 inch. I will place the link below after the video is replayable. And if you like, you can click on the link and look at it to see if you're interested in purchasing it. I know it comes in 8 inch. I've seen it in a 10 inch. There's an 8 inch one. There's a four inch and there are three inch ones. I got some of the three inches too because I'm working on a project. I'm not gonna say too much about that. But yes, I will place the link below so that you can see um, if you're interested in purchasing it. So let's see, flamingos. Oh, you did, you made them. The ones on the mirror with uh, one of them I made with flowers and one of them I made with the river rocks. Are those the ones you're talking about? I love them. You know where mine are right now? I put them in my classroom and they're sitting in a corner and the corner is Miss Pinky's corner. And so that spot is for my students. If they would like to go hang out, if they're not feeling well or, you know, 
they want to put their feelings or their thoughts down on paper they can go to that corner and do so and the kids love it not that they've used the corner yet but that's the general idea but they just love miss pinky's corner because i placed the two flamingos and the, the palm tree that i made during our summer series yes so they just love that spot um they they think it's awesome really okay evelyn so i'll place the link below the video when i log off and you'll be able to purchase it from there because that's where i got mine i always get mine they sell them in the white and they also have a black one and i don't like the black one i just uh, prefer using um not even the white one the clear one because you know it's just better to me for my my projects thank you katrina i appreciate you let's see thank you tanya i appreciate you awesome awesome thank you ella yay okay so that's the warm light and like i said if you wanted more light you could go in with a second one i will not unravel this one and then here is a colored light and like i said i found these when um ray one way designs 238 and I went on our second craft crawl. Yes, there was a second craft crawl. And we're getting ready to roll those details out to you guys for a third one. Those of you who might be interested in coming uh, with us on one. Uh, still working out the details. But, oh, okay, I need batteries. Joy. Okay, let's see. Pull you out. Are you the kind that needs to unscrew? No. Yes. Perhaps. <gasps> no. I think, guys. Oh, no. Yep. I think I just broke the cover. But I got it off. All right. So... We're gonna try with the colorful one to see if that gives it uh, more pizzazz, more personality. These things are long. All right, so. Yes, it is even more beautiful with the lights. Batteries. All right, so we're gonna try this to see. Oh, I took the wrong ones. Awesome. Let me know how it turns out. I really enjoyed making that palm tree. I really enjoyed um, the way it came out. I was so happy with it. And, you know, I had to get it out of my house. It was either get it out of the house, I should say rather, or dismantle it. And I didn't want to dismantle it because I really enjoyed making it as well as how it turned out. And so I was happy when I could have taken it to my classroom and have it live there for a time. So let's see. I'm gonna put the battery pack down first, which I don't think I like because you'll be able to see the battery pack through the panels. So already I don't like that. But, <laughs> nah, I don't like it. I don't like it just because the battery pack is on the bottom and it's one of those huge battery packs 
as opposed to the other fairy light that has a smaller battery pack on it with a quarter size. The lights are kind of cute, but I have just the thing. There we go. All right. So let me know what you guys think. Fairy lights, bright white, or color. I like the colorful lights, but I don't like the fact that the battery pack is so big because I can see it on one of the panels. I can see it on two of the panels, actually. Perhaps maybe if I got the battery pack to um, lay down flat, that would be better. But for right now, I can see it, but I do like the look of the colored lights. What say you, my darlings? What say you? <laughs> yes. Craft crawl, uh, the craft crawl, one second, I always break the cover, yes, I couldn't get it off. Some of them have screws in it, those ones don't give me difficulty, somehow it's the ones that have the screws in it that gives me the most, the, no, I said that backwards. The ones with the screws do not give me an issue because I have my small screwdriver that I can take them out with, but the ones without the screw, I don't know, sometimes they are so, like they catch so hard, and so it's difficult to get them off, and yes, I typically sometimes um, break those too. The bright lights, the bright white, or the colorful lights? I think the bright white lights will give it a more elegant look. Um, I, to me, in my opinion, the warm LED lights is too warm. It's gonna dull down the bling a little bit. Um, but I also like the colorful lights. Um, it's a little funky. You know what I'm saying? Uh, for lack of a better term. So either would work, either the bright lights or the color lights, colorful lights, I would just have to find a way to hide that battery pack, or if not, I would have to see if I could find the colorful lights that come with this battery pack, comes with this battery pack instead. Annette says she likes the soft lighting. <laughs> yes, I think that's why I like it too. It does look a little bit like a disco. And then I like with the fairy lights how because of where the lights fall, it just gives it like depth and a little bit of dimension um, inside it. Um, so yeah, so guys, we made another wonderful piece again tonight. And like I said, I have to finish this because I want this to actually have a hook up in here. And I had hooks from the Dollar Tree. For some reason, I thought they were silver. Um, these are actually gold, and so I'm not going to put gold hooks on our bling piece. So what I'll do definitely is go back to the dollar store, see if I can find a silver one of these packets, and if not, I will run down to Lowe's, and I will find some silver ones, and I'm going to place one each, a hook, one each right in the middle of our panels and that's where you would be able to hang your necklaces and then of course on the bottom here you can put place your rings if that's something you would like to do place your rings in the bottom of the panel like so i don't know if you'll be able to see that because it's bling on bling on bling and then of course if you have any um beautiful perfume bottles or any other pieces of jewelry that you would like, you can of course definitely put it on your mirror. But my darlings, I think I would have to say that we have nailed yet another 
project. And so, if you have found any value in this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up and leave me a comment in the comment section below. Let me know if you would prefer the bright white lights, the warm LED lights, or the colored lights, I would love to hear from you. Do you know there was a time somebody left me a comment, this was months ago, perhaps even a year and something ago, said, oh, why are you reading? Why do you read your outro? And I'm like, lady, I'm not reading. <laughs> I'm saying this, I'm not reading. So it was just funny, I remember that. But yeah, my guys, this is our piece. And I think that we have done a wonderful job now the only other thing I would add and I would keep you guys here to do it is I would probably take another piece of this um, mat trace it out on top cut it out in the shape of the triangle here and glue this down so that when you're standing up over it you won't be able to see down into the mechanism all you will see is the cover of it, right? And you will get that shiny, shining light in there also. And I think I'm going to do that off camera while I tell you guys goodbye. So my darlings, before I leave you and sign off from this channel, please let me know what is the motto to our channel say it with me if you know it <laughs> why by when you can diy and so my darlings my loves until next time unless you guys have any questions for me unless you guys have any questions for me i say to you guys yes Yes, and that's our new t-shirt. I can't wait to get mine. I order it and it should be here by the middle of this week and so I will be wearing it next week. Please let me know um, if there's anything else that you guys would like to see, any ideas that you have, send me an email to dannysdarlings at gmail.com. Why buy when you can DIY? Be sure to send me an email to Danny's Darlings. I'm looking for my mouse at gmail.com. And I will be sure to see what I can come up with. And so, my darlings, until next time, I say to you guys, please, please, please take care of yourselves for me. Know that I love you all. Mwah and Mwah. Bye now. <laughs> the t-shirt is $24.99. I want to say $21.99. I can't remember because there's a hoodie, there's a t there's a fem a woman's t-shirt, there's a male t-shirt, um, and so they're different um products that comes with that same label. There's a mug if you can't do the t-shirt. Um, so yes. Yes, you can actually make your own t-shirt with Cricut. Um, if that's something that you would like to see, let me know, Beverly, and I will definitely be able to pull that out for you. But my darlings, I, good night, Elizabeth. I'm going to sign off now, and I just thank you guys for your time good night all thank you so very much thank you annette thank you thank you thank you dawn good night good night good night wanda says that makes sense yes definitely going to cover it off camera all right thank you guys good night everyone thank you thank you thank you Good night. Bye now. Mwah. Mwah. Bye, everyone.